Okay, thank you for watching my videos. This one I'm going to show you a bit about crossover. Um, sorry if the sound of my previous videos was a bit quiet. I've since fixed my microphone and uh, so you should be able to hear me all right now. Once you download your copy of Crossover and buy it, uh, you will receive, obviously, this is the um, executable file of Crossover. So you need to run this. Uh, the quickest and easiest way to run it is to go to a terminal and simply drag that onto there like so and just run that. Also uh, make sure that you give it executable rights as well uh, by doing that you can simply go right click go to permissions and make sure it's allowed to execute as a program and assuming you have once you run it in the terminal you'll be uh, presented with the installer uh, so you just got to read through the license I've read it about a million times anyway so anyway uh, install path I recommend you leave that as default just for simple purposes but obviously you can change it if you really want to and so just begin the install there this can take a minute depending on the uh, specs of your computer obviously how fast it is mine's relatively fast so it shouldn't take too long and there we go that's been installed and then you can install a Windows software so we'll click this button Another way of doing that as well, um, I can close that now, is you'll find that it's gone here and you'll also receive another menu when you've actually installed something. So because this is the first time it's been installed on this system, I have nothing there. So we're going to go ahead, cross over, install Windows software. And you are given a list of things you can install. This list only shows you what um, is known to work and is completely 100% supported. Um, you can install other stuff, for example, if it's not actually shown here in the list, uh, you can click this button and then click next and it allows you to um, browse for the installer, like so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate just to install um, Office. I'm going to pause the recording through the install as well because um, I don't want you to sit and watch a video of the installer because that's very boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, my version of Office which I believe is XP. Next and I need to browse for my files which I have saved on my network which is mounted which is in disk 1. So you just go ahead and browse for the thing there. Show you this for test purposes. Now uh, this takes a while to create the um, the bottle, as it were. And once it starts installing things, basically just follow the, the installer as if you would be installing it on a normal Windows machine. And eventually. Uh, you'll have a working version of Opus, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip all this boring stuff and I'll show you the finished product. As you can see here, it's uh, just installing. So the installer will run normally, as if it would on uh, Windows. Nothing special to port it across. You don't have to sit and copy all these system files and registry entries and all that rubbish. Simply install it as if you would normally on a Windows machine. And once that's installed, uh, there you go that's been installed successfully so that's now going to simulate a reboot don't worry it doesn't actually reboot your computer which is the fun part it just pretends that it's rebooting so that it keeps those programs happy and I think also it does all the stuff that's routine with um, an actual system reboot which is to clean up the registry because crossover to my knowledge does have a registry as if it would do normally on Windows which is part of what enables these programs to run correctly because it has that obviously most programs depend on a registry to actually work you can see a required po component of uh, Office was Internet Explorer which is um, not something I use personally but there you go that's Microsoft Word and the same process can be done with pretty much all of your favorite applications like Photoshop and most also World of Warcraft this does support games and it has the uh, DirectX environment on as well which that 
that can be installed onto Crossara. So thank you for watching and I hope you find my videos useful. Please post comments. If you post any negative comments or anything nasty, uh, I will delete it because nobody really wants to know.